<laughs> I wrote it so many different times. I wrote a three-page letter, rewrote it, I wrote so many different things. And that's when I nixed out the whole long story and just wrote down. Manolo saved my life. You saved his. For that, I'm eternally grateful, really grateful for your gift, for your of, gift life. of life. All I can tell you is I will devote my life to keeping this special gift as healthy as possible. With my eternal love and gratitude, Samantha. When you're a mom, the first thing you say when the baby comes is, are they okay? You don't worry about anything else. Manolo was very yellow. They say that it looked like biliary atresia, which is a liver disease that's passed on to children. They need a transplant before the age of two. And who knows if you're gonna get that life-changing surgery. I've been asked a million times why I've donated part of my liver away to someone that I didn't know. But part of me thinks that it might've been something that was instilled in me by my mom when I was a young girl. So my mom and I, I love her to death. She's an extremely empathetic person and she's super compassionate, but she is the same as me. Rebecca is so like me when I was a young child. We, we butt heads, but we are just so determined. When I was a young kid, my mom used to have this saying and it was the most annoying thing in the world. So before we could leave my porch, my mom forced us to finish this saying. And she would say, Rebecca, make the world She'd leave this nice little pause for you. You'd groan and say, a better place. <laughs> I wanted to give that to my kids. I want them to take it and spread kindness throughout our world. Ever since I moved out, I started to kind of appreciate my mom in a different way and everything that she's done for me. The main thing would be a car accident that I was in when I was a teenager. She was my advocate because I was only 16 years old at the time. I'm sure that was the worst process in the world to see that your kid was sick and that you couldn't do anything about it. It's a mother's worst nightmare to know that there's nothing you can do for your baby. And those nights when I was up looking at him when he was all yellow, and please, God, just help my son, help him be healthy. Good to see you again. Anyone donating any organ is an extraordinary person. The extraordinary thing about Rebecca is that she did not have a particular recipient in mind. And that's something that we don't often see in liver donation because the severity of the operation is, is significant. I really can't put it into words, but knowing that I help somebody else get their life back and hopefully get to do some of the things that I get to do. I'm extremely blessed in the fact that I didn't die in that car accident and it forced me to take a new perspective on things. The doctor told me I have some news for you and I knew instantly I was like you have you have a liver and I dropped to the floor and I thanked God. I thanked God. Manolo, when you look down and see your scar, I hope it serves as a reminder of your strength and that life's possibilities are endless. I hope that you were afforded the same happiness that I've been lucky enough to have had. I hope that you remember each and every day how much your mom loves you. But most of all, I hope that this opportunity inspires you to help others to pay it forward and to make the world, to make the world a better place. Oh, my love, Rebecca.